What's up guys? Today I got another Ford quick tip for you and it's going to be on the PAT system found on the Ford vehicles. Now these use a transceiver ring in the steering column that talks to the transponder in the key here. Now there's no battery re required on these. The transceiver actually is so close to the transponder when it sends the radio waves out it energizes a coil inside of here and then it automatically responds with the key code back to it and it's dead after that. So it's a very reliable system. There's like uh, something like 52 billion possible combinations and it's a very reliable system but there can be faults that come about every once in a while and it's either the key the ring the module or the cluster and PCM not talking to each other so I get a lot of questions about no crank no starts and people really don't understand if it's a theft issue that's causing it to not be able to do that or it's a mechanical issue with the starter that's not allowing the engine to crank so what I'll show you today is exactly how it looks when you put a key in that is not programmed or has a fault or um, there's a fault in the PAT system somewhere that's causing a theft light to um, uh, flash rapidly. And I'll show you also another key that is programmed and fully functional and how it looks when it turns on, it proves out and goes out. So I'll show you exactly how it looks so there's no confusion on if your system is disabled because of the pass system or not. Uh, so let's check it out. Okay, with the engine off and the key out of the ignition, what you'll see in the cluster is a flashing icon that lets you know that the PAT system is in standby mode. It's also used as a theft deterrent for would-be thieves. Now, you may also get it over here in the sunload sensor. Many vehicles, Ford vehicles, have it built into the sunload sensor as a secondary indicator to would-be thieves um, that there's a th there's an anti-theft system built into the vehicle. Okay, for my first demonstration, I'll show you how it looks when the PAT system has disabled the vehicle. At that point, if you see this, what you want to do is concentrate on the security system and not anything else on the vehicle. No starter issues, no fuel pump issues. You want to concentrate on the security system of the vehicle and diagnosing that. So this is how it looks. You have the key in the ignition. You can see it's uh, flashing constantly in a standby state. Put the key to the on position. And instantly, when it goes to prove the key out, there's a problem. And the theft light will flash rapidly as such. Now, the way it looks when you have a key that is programmed or the path system in general is fully functional is you put the key in. Okay, same thing. The... Uh, the pass system is flashing at a constant rate. You turn the key on, it'll go solid for a few seconds and then go out and never flash or light up again until the key is turned back off. So once again, this is how a um, problem looks with the path system that's not allowing it to start. The vehicle may not crank or may not crank and or fire depending on the vehicle model and year if they have a starter interrupt and fuel interrupt. So this is how it looks with the theft problem. Turn the key on. Try to start it, try to start it. Nothing. What's going on? And this is a good key and a fully functioning PAT system. Starts right up, improves out. Okay, so hopefully this helps. I get a lot of questions about this. People are not sure if they have a theft issue or a mechanical issue causing the no start, no crank on their vehicle. If you just take a few seconds to look in the cluster and make sure you do not have a theft issue, that will help let you know going forward where you should be looking next. If you have a theft issue, there's no point in looking at anything else on the vehicle until a theft issue is resolved. And the key is when it's turned on, is authenticated, and that light goes out. After that, if the vehicle still don't crank or still don't, doesn't uh, start, then you can start looking at mechanical options like starters and fuel pumps. So uh, hopefully this is clear enough so you guys can see exactly how it looks when it's authenticated properly and when it's not authenticated properly uh, so you know where to, where to go from here pretty much. I get this question a lot.